In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best possible settings you can use on controller. And these are the same exact settings I used to drop a 20 elimination win in the solo victory cup yesterday. Not even just that, I just hit Unreal in world record time with the same exact settings. So you guys are going to want to make sure you stay to the end and check these crazy settings out. Nah, I don't... Oh, I got 14 kills, 10 up. It's been a long time since I dropped a 20 bomb in solos. So jumping straight into my settings, we're just gonna go right into it and start with our video settings. Now I'm on 1920 by 1080. I'm not using stress res anymore at all. I'm on 360 FPS performance mode because it is the absolute best mode to use. Then on top of that, my brightness is at 100. Use interface, I don't, I don't mess with that. No color blind anymore. I'm not using any color blind. Now my 3D res is messed with in my game files. I It's at a different custom res. I'm not gonna explain it right now if you guys wanna know about the lower input delay methods you let me know and i can make a video on that 
Other than that, everything else is basically low, low, show FPS and report performance stats. Jumping into it, my sound, again, I say this every time, my sound is going to be different than your sound. So you guys cannot copy my sound word for word. But this is what I'm looking at. 3D headphones is on. Sound quality, background audio, all this stuff is nice. I don't know why my 3D headphones wasn't on. It's back. It's on. Make sure you turn it on. Other than that, though, everything is basically pretty normal. It's pretty your, much your standard stuff. Now, I am on NA Central because that is where most tournaments are played, and I do play a lot more events than anything else. And then toggle sprint, auto open doors, manual activations hold jump, hurdle activations hold jump. Hold the swap pickup. Now, this bind is not looked at as importantly as it should be. It makes it so you do not have to drop an item out of your inventory if your inventory is not full to swap to that item, which is really good, super useful. Definitely recommend using it. Now, for my custom slots, I have my shotgun in my first slot, SMG in second, and my ARs in my fifth. That makes it so if I'm on my shotgun, I can tap one of my bumpers to go to the spray weapon. And then if I'm out of ammo for that one, I can be on my shotgun and tap one bunker to go to the other spray weapon. So it, it works really, really well. I do recommend having your weapon set up just like that. Now, I do have my pre-edits on. I think pre-edits are useful, plus you have less edit delay with them on, and I do not use edit on release. Now, if I'm playing keyboard, I do use edit on release, but on controller, I do not. Now, other than that, contextual tips off. Everything else is pretty standard. Make sure I go down to the bottom here. Make sure you guys turn these two energy saving things off completely. You'll get a lot better performance with them off. It'll make you restart your game. Rocket Racing, I don't play that at all. These are just my HUD settings if you guys want to look at them real quick. Nothing too special here, but some people do ask what I'm using. Nothing too crazy. So jumping on into the gyro options. Don't use these. Don't. Stop it. Stop it right now. You have no reason to click on these. Turn it off. Never open it ever again. To my keyboard settings. Now, this is a controller settings video, but I do play keyboards sometimes, so I'm just going to show them to you real quick. 3.1, 3.1, and that is on 1600 DPI with a 50-50 targeting. Building sense and editing sense is both 115%. I think it just helps a little bit. And normally when I do play, I turn both of these on because it does give you a lower input delay on keyboard and mouse. This is my custom double movement. I got it from a friend. I don't really know if it's that good. Honestly, I, I mess with it all the time, but you guys can copy it if you want. Other than that, everything else is pretty standard. Now we're just gonna look at the main keyboard bonds. I'm not gonna go through every single bind. But my sprint is on my mouse button. Obviously, shooting stuff's normal. Reloads are. My use is scroll wheel and T. Pickaxe is also on a mouse button. Then my weapons are one through five. Crouch is C. Wall is Q. Floor is F. Stairs are E. And roof is shift. And then I edit with V and use scroll or reset. I don't need to show every single thing. Because like I said, there's a lot of binds here. I mean, we don't need to look at all that. Plus, we're, we're here for the controller. Now... This is the main gist of it right here. I need you guys to copy these settings bar for bar, word for word, setting for setting, because they're the absolute best settings I've used in a very long time, and they will 100% improve your game. So slide hold time is kind of personal preference. This doesn't matter as much, but I have mine at 0 0.085. Then quick weapon, don't use this at all, completely pointless. Now I, we are using advanced mode, so make sure if you're not turn on advanced mode already, then our build and edit mode is 1.6, 1.6. Now, this might seem low, I know. I know, it might seem low. But trust me, get used to it, and it will not feel like that. Look look horizontal speed is 46, which is pretty high. And then our look vertical speed is 53, which is a little bit higher. Makes it so we can hit the headshots that we need to. Our ADS is 6.6 with a 3.3 boost. I've used this ADS for, like, literally ever. And, I mean, you guys see that I fry. I mean, I don't miss. And now we have exponential. I know, I know. I switch on and off and on and off. But Expo is 100% the way to go. If you are looking to compete or consistently win games, Expo is what you need to play on controller because linear is more like for creative and just like mechanics. But you can have, if you can get mechanics on exponential, you will be one of the best players to ever touch the game. Just like Reet. Stick Dead zone is kind of personal preference. I just have mine at 10, 10 because I don't want stick drift. You could go lower, could go higher. Completely up to you. This is a secret setting right here, foot controller. Make sure you guys turn this on. It makes your aim assist a little bit stronger. If you guys don't believe me, test it out, but it's it's insane. You guys got to try it. Now, jumping over into my actual binds, I normally have my controller set to generic, which gives you lower input delay. That's why you guys will see these funky buttons. But for the purpose of me showing you my binds, I'm just going to put it on this so we can see the actual button that it is. So, jumping straight into it, my switch mode is 
going to be circle which is actually a back paddle if you guys don't know i use four back paddles and while we're here on the subject this is the controller i use this is the scuff reflex fps it has mouse click triggers mouse click bumpers four paddles on the back i use four paddles so if you guys don't know this is jump my right paddle right above that is my sprint which is on my d-pad my back left paddle is going to be my switch mode which is circle and then my pickaxe right here is going to be triangle that's what i use on my back paddles you guys could try that on your back paddles completely up to you everyone has different binds but this is just what i'm working with and then i just going to jump since i told you all of that basically i'm going to jump into my edit which is I use a left stick edit and I use R1 to confirm and then I use LT. Yeah, LT to reset. I, I couldn't remember for a second, but that is all my binds. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, if you guys love the content and you guys are seeing, loving what you see on the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.